Well, we are moving into three years of this pandemic now, and as we learn to live with it, you may run into some called COVID deniers. Now, we're not talking about people who deny that COVID-19 exists, but people who deny that they themselves have COVID-19. Hope Ford spoke with Piedmont Health's COVID Task Force Director about why people may pretend they don't have the virus. COVID symptoms can range from none to extreme, but some people may find themselves trying to resist getting a COVID test because they, well, feel fine. They may have been exposed to a primary person with COVID or they may actually have symptoms, but uh, they insist that they do not have COVID. Piedmont Healthcare's COVID Task Force Executive Director, Dr. Jane Morgan, reminds us there's a difference between being asymptomatic and unaware you have COVID and having minor symptoms and denying you have COVID. Why is that distinction important? That continues to drive this pandemic and drive infections because people are unwilling, sometimes unable, to get tested, some people, and then they continue to move through society in a normal way. Dr. Morgan adds ignorance is bliss, but it puts others at risk. The, the mind is a funny thing, right? We can justify things. Look at vacations and airlines, Dr. Morgan says. People aware that they are symptomatic, but they do not want to test before they get home because they don't want to be quarantined in another state or uh, another location. It's not to say all people who deny having COVID may not have a valid reason. Some people can't afford or aren't allowed to take off work. Others may not have easy access to tests. Others may have illnesses or chronic pain that makes it difficult to tell the difference between a reoccurring migraine and a COVID headache. But during this surge, Dr. Morgan says, You should assume that you are positive unless you can prove that you are not. Experts remind people it's important not to manifest systems by letting your anxiety reach a level where you magnify every little ache or sneeze. Testing is the best way to prove you're COVID positive and take precautions like quarantining and wearing a tight fitting mask until you get a negative result.